garbage that he ever did. As they say, he's in the pudding. So show me the money like my name is Cuba Gooding. It ain't fool's gold, it's gold, fool. Can't stop, won't stop, keeping it old school. So cool. Big Spoon is my name's a plume. I keep it popping like a needle in a new balloon. And if you don't know by now, then you need more schooling. Let loose, kid, get stupid. Got more flavor than I know what to do. It's to get your hands up if you're part of the movement. And bump to the bump to the baseline. I made it rock before your phone had FaceTime. Yes, sirree, you know my steez. I stay fresh to death like I'm drowning in Febreze. Up, up, and away we go. Up, up, and it's making me glow. Up, up, and away we go. Up, up, and like it. Up, up, and away. The Admiral Graf Spee is a German cruiser that was used in the Second World War in Spain. It didn't so much service because in a battle against three British cruisers, she was heavily damaged and couldn't be repaired because of the bad condition. That's why the own crew have sunk the ship. It had 280mm guns on board, and that's what surprised me, because ships with that kind of caliber were most of the time battleships, and not cruisers, but the devs give a fuck about historical accuracy, and give you this ship. But enough with the history lessons, let's get started. The Admiral was introduced on the special encircling Grafspy event, you could get her by clearing the SP3 map 60 times, or by building ships, while hoping that RNG doesn't hate you this time. Now comes the part, where we look at her skills. She has two unique skills. The first one is, Pocket Battleship. This perks allows her to deal additional damage to light cruisers, even up to 35% more damage. This skill is handy especially for PvP, because you will see most of the time light cruisers out there, and more damage is always good. The second skill is, Full Barrage. The name already says what it does. It sends a barrage after every 6 shot to the enemy, so it is helpful if you have a high fire rate. Let's check the equipment then. For the main guns, I recommend the 203mm mounted, or the twin 203mm guns. They have really good firepower and shoot HE rounds. Perfect for dealing damage to light armored ships. For the torpedoes, I would go with the 610mm quads, because having high speed travel torpedoes is nice, but I know my luck. They will simple torpedo beat them out, but if you haven't them going with the 533mm quad torpedoes is also a good choice. For the AA, you go like always with the quadruple 40mm Bofors, but be careful, this cruiser hasn't the best AA, so don't wonder why so many planes go through. For the auxiliary equipment, I would take an auto loader to increase her RPM so that you activate her skill even faster, and a steering gear, to increase the chance to do epic torpedo beats. In my opinion she isn't the strongest ship, maybe it feels so, because I didn't play her much, I just don't see the point of using her, the skills are decent, the damage output too, but maybe they will change her later a little bit. And guys, before the video ends, check out my social medias, I feel alone without you there. So, now you know, how you drive the German Empire, so show them how to do it.